Hello learners, welcome to this lesson. I'm your teacher of ECST today. I'm a Mount Julius. And in SST, we are going to look at the topic of climate. So let me write the topic here. And as the topic starts, we are going to start by defining climate. And the definition of climate, so we are going to define climate as, climate is the average weather condition over place recorded for a long period of time. Now let's identify some of the words in our definition here. First of all we are looking at the word average. We are looking at the weather condition and then we are talking of a long period of time. Now, what can you try to define climate is weather. So, let's also define weather in order to explain the terms that are in what our definition of climate. So, let's look at weather here. Weather is the condition of atmosphere of a place at a given time. Now, weather is recorded within a short time. Climate is recorded after a long period of time. Now in weather, we keep on recording these elements daily and it takes a short period of time. Now, what we record daily after a long period of time is what we make the average. Now the long period of time here we are talking of 30, 40 years. So we record weather daily now, after this period of 30 to 40 years, we make the average of the recordings. Then we are able to determine the climate of that place. That's why we are looking at average condition of a place, and the recording should be for a long period of time. That is 30 to 40 years. So that's whether we are recording it daily. So that's the difference we have here. Are we okay, learners? Now, from there, there is also another aspect we are going to look at. As we look at climate and weather, let's look at the elements. What are these elements that we record daily? That will help us determine the climate of an area. So let's look at the elements. So we can say elements of climate are the same elements of weather. So under this, we shall look at elements like we have rainfall as an element, we have temperature, we have humidity, we have wind flow, we have atmospheric atmospheric pressure we have sunshine we have cloud cover now 
These are the elements that we call daily that help us to determine the climate of an area. But among these elements, we have the most important ones, which at times we refer to as aspects of climate, and that is rainfall and temperature. Now, when you are talking of the climate of an area, you are either referring to rainfall of uh, the amount of rainfall is received in that area, or you are talking of the intensity of temperature there. So that's why we are looking at these two can also be referred as the aspects of climate. So they are the most important elements. Also, other elements are important. So these are the elements that are recorded daily. That are, are recorded daily. That are recorded daily. And then for a long period of time, we are able to determine the climate of an area. Are we together, Leonard? Now, where does this recording take place? This recording is normally carried out or takes place at what we call a weather station. Now, who do we get in a weather station? We mainly get those people who are called the metrologists. So, metrologists are the people who carry the work of recording this work and uh, these elements, and then the process of recording this or the study is what we call metrology. So the scientists are metrologists, then the study of these elements is what we call metrology. So we have the people who are metrologists, the scientists, then we have the study which is metrology. Now this study takes place at a weather station. Now, some of our schools have gone to weather stations, but we have the National Weather Station, which gives us the weather focus, which we normally see as what? Either on TV or radio that takes us the focus. Now, in Uganda, the biggest weather station is found at Entebbe. That's where we get our biggest weather station. So, we have meteorologists, then we have meteorology, which we say the study of weather. Now, we are going to look at these elements. Now, out of these elements, we have to get the conditions. And then we shall also look at the instruments the meteorologists use in measuring these elements. So I'm going to draw a table here. So we shall have, in this table, the first part we shall have the elements. Now from the element, we shall be able to determine the condition of weather. Now this condition can be also known as the type of weather. Because many times candidates you confuse the elements and condition. The question is asking of a condition which should be a type. You find somebody writing an element. Or at time they are asking of the element, one is writing a condition. Then we shall also in this table have the column for units. The units that are used in measuring these elements. Then we shall have the instruments. So we shall have the instruments. So I hope those who have got their books, you also bring this. Make sure you have your ruler there. So this is the table. We are having now. Okay, now let's look at each of these elements. So let's begin with rainfall. So we have rainfall as an element. We have rainfall as an 
again here. Now, what quality should we get out of rainfall, or what type of weather we get from rainfall? And that is the condition known as rainy. Okay? Then, what units are used for measuring rainfall? These are millimeters. So we have the millimeters, which are here abbreviated as MN. Okay? Then, what instrument do meteorologists use for measuring rainfall? That is a rain gauge. So that's all of number one. We have rainfall as an element, we have a type or a condition that we get from rainfall, which is rainy. Now we have the units that we use for measuring rainfall, which are millimeters, and then we have the weather instrument, which is a rainy gauge. Are we together, learners? Now let's look at the second element. Here we shall have sunshine. So sunshine is an element. So we got the second element which is sunshine and we say the condition we get from sunshine is sunny. Now the units that we use for measuring sunshine, this time we use hours. So we have hours. Now let's go to the instrument. So the instrument which is used for measuring sunshine is called a sunshine recorder. A sunshine recorder. That is element three. Now let's look at element four. We have, I mean element three, we have temperature. Now, with the temperature, the conditions you are going to get, it is either hot, it is warm, it is cold, or you can say it is what? Chilly at times. So, you don't have a specific word. So, let's look at, you can say hot, the, the weather is hot, you can say the weather is cold. You can say the weather is warm or the weather is chilly. So those are the conditions that we get from temperature. Now, what units do we use for measuring temperature? We use degrees. So in area say if for instance it is cold. The temperature can be below 10 degrees Celsius. If it is hot, the temperatures can drop uh, above 30 degrees Celsius. Now, what instrument or what weather instrument do we use for measuring temperature? We use a six thermometer. which is the same as minimum and maximum thermometer. Why minimum? Because this measures both the lowest temperature of a place and the highest temperature. That's why you have minimum lowest maximum highest. So at times you can call it a six thermometer. So let us those who are copy, I'm going to give you one minute. I grab then we continue with our table. Especially those who started with us from this side here. We want to continue with our table showing the elements. The conditions 
the units and the instruments that we use for measuring. Hoping those who are following are through with this. I'm grabbing the first two parts in order to have a little bigger table. Showing 
clouds, the type of clouds. We are going to look at another uh, type of what element. So let's look at humidity. And from humidity, we get humidity as a type. Get unit as a, ty a type, and then we don't have specific units, but we have a weather instrument, and that is the hygrometer. Now, now let's take your attention here. We tend to confuse two instruments: hygrometer and then hydrometer. This one here. Hygrometer is not a weather instrument. So we are looking at humidity as an element, and then the condition we are saying is a unit. We don't have a specific unit, but the instrument is a hygrometer. So as I said, scan the normally confuse two things. There is what we call hygrometer. We have what we call hygrometer. But this hydrometer is not a weather instrument. So for us, what we look at hydrometer with HYG, not HYD. So never give this as a weather, a weather instrument. So those who are coming, I want to copy this so that we look at the weather stations in details. Because I'm moving to the other side now, but I want to give a chance to those who are copying. So I think I need a weather station. So let's ask ourselves what is a weather station. We say this is a place where weather elements or conditions are studied and recorded. So we say a weather station is a place where Weather elements or conditions are studied and recorded. Recorded. So the yellow will see the biggest. Government weather station is found at Tintin. That's where the biggest government weather station. Now, this is the weather station that gives uh, us the Weather focus of the day, a weather focus of a month or a week. So the meteorologist at the table are the ones who give us that. Now let's look at what we find at a weather station. What do we find at a weather station? What we find at a weather station. For instance, you have gone to a table for a study to two what you expect to get there. One, you, ask, you expect to find there the weather instrument. You expect to get the weather instrument. 
for For instance, you can get there. You said you want it. A wind pain. Remember we said a wind pain at the beginning of this lesson that a wind pain is used to show the direction of wind. You get the anemometer, for instance. You said the anemometer is used to measure the speed of wind. You can get there, for instance, a rain gauge. Which is used to measure the amount of rainfall. So those are some of the instruments. Then you will get there what we call a Stevenson screen. So you get a Stevenson screen. Now, what is this Stevenson screen, for instance? Now this is a box at school we may be having it. So we say it is a wooden box used to keep delicate weather instruments. So let's say a Stevenson screen. is a wooden box used to keep delicate weather instruments. Instruments. We have those that are baked. They can easily break if, me, if, for instance, are not handled with care. Now, among this way, they can do the instruments. For instance, we have got hygrometer. We talked about hygrometer here. I hygrometer here. We have got a barometer which is mainly used to measure atmospheric pressure. Then we have the minimum and maximum thermometer. So those ones are delicate weather instruments. So boys and girls, those who are copying, please copy this so that we continue with our lesson. So I'm moving to this side of the chalkboard. Our topic remains the same, climate. Apart from the 
egyébként. Weather Instruments. What else?
for this delicate weather in Spanish. Now let us, we are ready for an activity. So we try this activity. In our next lesson, we shall begin with answering this activity. And then look at how we have, we have been faring. And you will help me in marking yourself. Whether, but the activity is about what we have just done. There is no question outside what we have done. Everything for that activity is what we have just done. So just follow your notes and you get all the answers about the activity. So in the next lesson, we begin with the activity. So let's go for the activity. So after that, thank you for being good learners today.